Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week with the sew down, which we haven't done for ages. Um, this is our monthly roundup of stuff that we've seen, read, sewn, haven't sewn that much, um, in the last month. And we thought we'd share with you because you guys would find it interesting. So, first and foremost, um, the weather. It's very cold. We had snow in London, which is very exciting and quite unusual. Um, and I am layered up, so I just thought I'd tell you what I'm wearing. So I have got the Nico top um, from True Bias on, which is l such a great base layer. If you are looking to make a really nice sort of simple polo neck, it doesn't take very long either. I'd highly, highly recommend this one. Um, so I've got that on underneath the, um, this is a Sloan sweater from Named Clothing. Anyone who hasn't made it, I'd really recommend it. I think it's sort of the unsung hero of the kind of sweatshirt world. Um, I really, really like it. It's got these quite dramatic, I don't, I'll, I'll pop a line drawing up so you can see. Um, they've got, it's got these quite dramatic darts that come up from the waist up to the bust. And I really like the shape of it actually. I've worn it a lot and I got this really amazing, I'll just come in closer, sort of sparkly fabric from Paris um, about a year ago, which yeah, so I've worn it a lot. And um, yeah, I would recommend it. If you don't like a raglan sleeve, this is a really good option. So anyway, enough about me. Um, first and foremost, I always talk about patterns and fabric. So the first pattern I want to talk to you about, it's actually a pattern company called Paper Theory Patterns. They are a London based company and I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about them because I thought they were really interesting and I thought you guys would find it interesting. So <clears throat> the company was set up by um, Tara who is originally from the Cook Islands and she has been living in London for the last 10 years I think, or 12 years actually, and she is a professional pattern cutter by trade. So I really like it when someone is is a professional pattern cutter it means that the you know everything's going to kind of come together really nicely and the pattern i wanted to talk about was the oiler shirt or oh oiler 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 shirt um it's really beautiful and really interesting and i love i love a pattern that's kind of got an interesting cut um the thing that is really interesting about it is it's got this sort of um the sleeve panel I'll show you a line drawing. The sleeve panel is really interesting. So you get the full, so it's one piece over <laughs> over the back of your arm. And then you have this sort of underarm gusset and um, inseam pockets along the front. And I just thought it was really interesting. I love the cut of it. I think the sh it's really kind of a relaxed fit and I think it would be a really nice one to make. You can make this in a shirt or a shirt dress, so there's two options. And I, yeah, I just thought this was really lovely. And it's always really nice to talk about a fellow Londoner. So yeah, I thought that would be a really nice one if you're thinking that you want to take on something a little bit kind of interesting. And I love, I love it when a pattern, you're not quite sure how the pieces are gonna look when they're flat out. So yeah, I thought this was a lovely one. Next up, fabric um it's just a little um <laughs> alert um i i'm sure a lot of you adore atelier brunette fabrics they are if you haven't come across them they are a french fabric company they do really interesting beautiful prints and they've just released a new collection of fabrics which is a um i'll put a picture up so you can see um it's a viscose but it's got a woven um pattern in it and I thought these are beautiful as usual they do them in really gorgeous gorgeous colours um, I know that I think these have just been released and I know that quite a few fabric shops are about to get them in I'm pretty sure that So Me Sunshine is getting them in um, but they will be kind of hitting the shops over the next few weeks and yeah they're gorgeous I mean you could use these to make blouses dresses yeah, I just really like that it's a plain fabric, but it's got something, the weave is interesting in it. And I just thought these were really lovely to share. I think they will probably be quite expensive because they always are the Atelier Brunette fabrics, but the quality is so good. So it definitely, definitely is worth it. So exciting stuff that I have 
that's sort of happening in the world. Um, first things first, I mean, I couldn't not talk about the sewing bee. So, this is back on our screens, the Great British Sewing Bee, in February. I think it's the 12th of February. There are mutterings about this date, so I think it is then. Um, I'm going to pop a link down below to the trailer so you can go and have a look. Um, I mean, it's going to be really fun. I can't wait for it to start. It's one of our favourite things, always, always, always. And we will be doing weekly blog posts with pattern recommendations from the show. So we will watch the show, see what everyone's making, and if you love the dress that's featured in it, we will hopefully be have found the pattern for you by the next day. So that is going to be quite fun for us. We always love a bit of a sewing bee challenge. But um, yeah, I think there also will probably be some meetups in the UK. I'm imagining lots of people want to watch it with other friends. Um, so yeah, it's always a really nice time of year because it kind of brings lots of people together. And um, yeah, so I'm excited about that. So go watch the trailer, it looks good. Talking of bringing people together, um, next month is the Knitting and Stitching Show at Olympia in London. Um, this is, if you haven't been to one before, it's um, quite a big show, retail show, specifically for um, people who love knitting and stitching. But this one is definitely much more dressmaking focused. And excitingly, we are going to be there. So we have taken the giant financial plunge and decided to have a stand there this year, which is going to be very exciting and a bit terrifying. So we are currently ordering like basically all the sexy patterns you can think of and we will be bringing them along to sell at the show so if you are planning on going do come and find us we will be there um, with literally every pattern you could imagine um, we thought we would mainly bring indie patterns because I know that those are harder to come across so I am currently bulk ordering loads and loads of patterns at the moment which is quite fun for me to do um, right so next up um, <clears throat> stuff to do. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have heard um, I spoke about the Dior exhibition in Paris which was last winter. It was so popular that they've decided to tour the, the entire show around different countries and it's coming to the UK. So it will be at the V&A. It opens on the 2nd of February and it's going to be incredible. Just just buy a ticket you will not regret it it will be amazing um i saw all the photos from paris and the show was incredible and they had you know really iconic his iconic dresses there it is going to be amazing i can't wait to go i'm so excited already um the tickets are 24 pounds so they are quite expensive but it's definitely worth it because you will yeah, you'll just leave feeling really inspired. Um, yeah, I'm so excited about that. You can probably tell that's like my <clears throat> highlight of the next few months. Um, next kind of thing to read. Um, we, any, I don't know if I've spoken about this on here before. I don't think I have. Um, TV programme, if you haven't seen it, it's on the BBC, Killing Eve. It is really fantastic and I would really highly recommend you watching it. Um, the costumes in it are totally incredible and there's this really interesting piece that I found about the um, costume designer who kind of pieced all the um, outfits together for the f for the program and for any of you that have watched it the costumes were just so good she looked amazing so it was really nice to read this article about um, how they came up with the concept for her look and why they picked different um, outfits for different scenes. Yeah, it was a really interesting article and I'd highly recommend going and having a read of that. I don't know if I said, all links will be down below, so don't worry, you can find them down down there. Um, next up, reading. Um, I know a lot of people, when I mentioned that I had found getting started sewing this year quite difficult and what they wanted to sew and a lot of people said they felt the same so I thought I'd put this it's a blog post that we um, released on the 5th of January but it's new year sewing resolutions of loads of different people within the sewing community and I was just thought that if you're finding it hard to get started and what you're 
resolutions are going to be for making this year it's a really nice thing to read I f it's my favorite thing that we do each year because I think it's so inspiring reading what other people's plans are and it gives you ideas about things you might not have thought about before so I will pop a link down to that because it's really nice and there's probably I think there's about 20 or 30 people on there so there's a lot of people kind of talking about what they're planning to make and yeah I just thought it's quite nice if you're not quite sure where to go um, that would be a nice thing to sort of check back on. Right last thing is listen um, and I was really excited so we this week we are on the Love to Sew podcast which I have spoken about a few times because I love it and we got asked to be on it and I was really excited and our episode has come out this week so we actually recorded this about eight months ago and it was all about the online shop when it was supposed to launch but because everything got delayed by six months <laughs> um, we had to re-record it at the end of last year so it I'm yeah really excited that it's out and if you fancy listening to me gabble on for about half an hour then definitely go and have a listen and if you haven't ever come across Love to Sew podcast just go and start at the beginning and listen to the back catalogue because there are the most amazing people on there fantastic interviews yeah I would highly highly recommend it so that is it from us this week um hope you have got lots of sewing plans for the weekend and we will be back soon with another video bye <laughs>